Welcome back. When you've finished a piece of tatting, you're going to have at least two ends that you're going to hide inside your stitches. One technique to do that is called the magic thread trick. Now this takes a little bit of pre-planning. So here I have my motif that I started with this ring, moved around, and now I'm getting ready to make the final chain that will connect back to my first ring and chain. So I've just started the chain, now I'm going to continue making it, but before I get really close to my end when I have at least five or six stitches left, and preferably a little bit more, I'm going to get another piece of thread. I like to use the same color that I'm working with so that any little fuzz bits that wear off uh, will still be in the same color and they won't be as obvious. So this piece of thread you're going to double up so there's a little loop in the end and then place that right alongside your shuttle thread just like you would if you're hiding the ends at the beginning of your work and just like those beginning hidden ends you're going to pull the looped thread through your stitches each and every half stitch until you finish the chain. I started this one a little bit earlier than I normally would so that you can see with plenty of practice how it looks like. This one's going to be a pico. I'm holding the pico in place with my left thumbnail as I make the other stitch. Now I've got one more pico to make. I'll place it and hold it in place with my thumbnail while making the second half of the stitch. And pull it close. And the final double stitch. Alright, now I have my chain made with a looped thread in the middle of it. Once I connect it, connect the chain to the base of my first ring and chain, I'm going to use this loop to pull the threads back through. Um, the chain. So I'm going to cut off my thread and the end pieces I'm going to pull through the ring. Pull that red thread tightly into the base where the ring ends join together and make my final knot. Okay. Now I have the two ends that I want to hide. These are the ones that I've used to tat with. And now I have this length of thread here that's looped back and pulled through 
my chain and I can pull that loop back and forth. It's kind of tight, but it does move back and forth. I like to pull it out a little bit to give myself a little extra room and then separating the ends I'm going to place the, the ends I want to hide in there. And pull it kind of close to the end of the chain. Now this is why I like to have a long end. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers a couple times and get a really firm grip on it and hold the chain stitches that I'm pulling through um, firmly, but not tightly enough to, to make it harder to pull the threads through. And then I'm going to pull as hard as I can. Sometimes working or pulling very fast works pretty well. And then if I need to, I can just continue pulling the, the tatting ends through a little bit. Make sure it's pulled out all the way before cutting them off. And there you have it. There's my finished motif with the ends hidden inside using the magic thread trick. Good luck and happy tatting.